Hi, my name is Bara Juma, and today I'm going to show how easy it is to get started with A to A and Quartus. First, what is A to A? Well, the Agent to Agent, or A to A protocol, is an open standard that's been created by Google. It enables AI agents to communicate and collaborate seamlessly with each other, regardless of the underlying language, framework, or vendor. The A to A project has been donated by Google to the Linux Foundation. Our A to A Java SDK is now part of the official A to A project. So let's see how to get started with the A to A Java SDK and Quarkus. Here we have a Quarkus Langchain for J AI service called Weather Agent. It responds to questions about the weather by making use of a weather MCP server. So let's see how we can turn this agentic Java application into an A to A server agent. The first thing that we're going to do is add a dependency on A to A Java SDK core to our project. Next, we're going to add a class that creates an agent card for our weather agent. So an A to A agent card describes what an agent can do so that other clients and agents can find out about the capabilities of our agent. So as you can see, we're using the agent card builder to specify the name for our agent, a description of what it does, and so on. And scrolling down, we can see that we've specified its skills so it can help with the weather in a city or a state. And an example query could be weather in LA, California. We also need to add a class that creates an A to A agent executor. So the agent executor will be used to send queries to our weather AI service and it will then send the responses back to the A to A client. So you can think of an agent executor as kind of like a bridge between the A to A protocol and your agent's actual logic. So in order to implement an agent executor, there are two main methods that we need to provide. So the first is the execute method, and this is what will be used to call our weather agent. So as you can see, we're passing in the user message that we got from the A to A client. And once we have the response, we're going to add it to as an artifact and complete the task. Now, the second method that we need to specify is the cancel method. And this is a pretty straightforward method that can be used to cancel an ongoing task. The very last thing that we need to do is add a dependency on an A to A Java SDK server. So this is what actually provides the endpoint that allows your agentic Java application to run as an A to A server. So here I'm adding a dependency on A to A Java SDK server Quarkus, um, and this is based off of Quarkus reactive roots. Now we also provide a Jakarta dependency, um, which is based off Jakarta REST. So you can choose the one that's the best fit for your application. So to recap, we started out with our AI service and we added two dependencies to our project. And then we also added an agent card producer and an agent executor producer. And so that's it. Our weather application now speaks A to A. Let's start our application using Maven Quarkus Dev. So now that our A to A server agent is up and running, let's use the A to A inspector to try to validate it. So the A2A inspector is part of the official A2A project, and it can be used to inspect, debug, and validate your server agents. So all you need to do is enter the URL for your server agent. So in our case, our agent is running on port 10001, um, and then we can hit connect. So the inspector displays the agent card that it obtained for our server agent. So here we can see that the information in the agent card matches what we specified in our agent card producer. So now that we've verified that our agent card is valid, let's go ahead and send a test message to our agent. So let's ask, what's the weather in LA, California? So this is going to send a message to our A to A server agent. And as we can see, we got a response back about the weather. Now that our weather agent is an A to A server agent, let's make use of it in a more interesting example. So here we have a host agent that can coordinate requests between two different A to A server agents. So the first A to A server agent is an Airbnb agent that's written in Python. It makes use of an Airbnb MCP server to answer questions about accommodations. 
Now the second A to A server agent here is our weather agent that we just saw that's written with Quarkus Langchain for J and also makes use of an MCP server in order to answer questions about the weather. So as we can see, our host agent uses A to A clients to communicate with each A to A server. And again, these A to A servers are written in different languages. So the first one is written in Python and the second one is written in Java. Let's try out this application. So first, let's try asking a question about the weather. So the host agent is going to use the agent cards from our two A to A server agents to determine which agent to send our question to. So in this case, the host agent sent our question to the weather agent. And as we can see here, we got the weather forecast for LACA. So next, let's try asking a question about accommodations. So find me a room in LACA for July 7th to 9th, two adults. So this time, the host agent is sending our request to the Airbnb agent. And as you can see, we have a list of apartments to look at. This example has shown how we can use A to A for multi-agent orchestration, where at least one of the agents is a Java agent by making use of our A to A Java SDK. Today, we saw how easy it is to get started with the A to A Java SDK and Quarkus. The link to our sample application will be in the description down below. Stay tuned for more examples on how to use different LLM frameworks and servers and A to A clients with our A to A Java SDK. So we hope you'll come join the A to A community and get involved. We welcome your contributions.